Hello, welcome to another unedited video. Welcome to the Rosie Life. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. And thank you for being here. And yeah, thank you. I love you guys. And I appreciate your support and all the videos and liking and subscribing and all that stuff. Like you guys really help the channel grow just by being here and, and viewing the videos. So thank you for sharing it with the rest of the world. So today I want to talk about something that um, someone made a comment and it's not just one person. Several people have made a comment and like, yeah, this is all cool and stuff, but manifesting, but it takes so long. And, and then I've heard stuff about like comments like, oh, I, I'm okay with, I understand that I, I'm God and, and that I'm the creator of my reality and everything, but I've affirmed it. I've chosen it. And I, I know how to be it, right? Um, and, and all of that. And that's fine, they say. But it's the in-between. It's the unfolding part that I have a hard time with. It's, it's that part. It's the allowing myself. It's allowing it to unfold. Or it's that part. So I was thinking about this. And I thought... Really, what does allowing mean? Because you've heard this that that you you've accepted it as yours, and now that and now you allow this to unfold, right? And and it feels like when you hear that, it feels like it's like something outside of you. It feels like you're talking about something or someone that's going to bring you something, and you have to allow them to do their job, or you have to allow your higher self to do its job or that you are, you have to be patient, surrender, that you have to detach, so that, that one, been there, done there, been, done that, tried that forever. And then it just, all of these things begin to feel like effort. And then that's where the question of, but how, how, how do I just be? How do I be patient for how long? And how do I detach? And how do I allow? And how, and how, and what do I have to do in the meantime, in the in-between time, right? These are the kinds of questions that are showing you that you are actually are not even acknowledging that you're in the wish fulfilled because we're always in the wish fulfilled. Every single moment, every single moment, every single day, we're always in the wish fulfilled. But what are you being fulfilled of? Lack of not having what you want. You're being fulfilled of your awareness that you don't have it. That's what that means, right? Because there is no lack. You're just creating the experience that you don't have it. So your awareness is on not having it. You're not in the awareness of I have it. Do you see the difference? If you're if you're asking where is it, how long, it's been X amount of time, what do I do, what do I say, help me please, I'm desperate. You're still in the awareness that you don't have it. So your awareness, not focus, not your, uh, I gotta focus. It's like sometimes some of these comments, you know, it's just like I feel you guys because I went through a period like that too, but it, it literally feels like you guys are like almost constipated of like you're know, trying to force your uh, force your attention and your focus and that you're not allowed to even breathe or think about anything else outside of that desire that you think you have to do that like that superhero like laser uh, in that focus and then you guys come out of it and then you're mad and you judge yourself and then you get angry because you're not seeing results that's that's not a focus, that's not the awareness. Awareness is like understanding that literally whatever you are aware of, whenever you choose who you are, you become it just because you're aware of it. It's not, you don't have to earn it through affirmations. You don't have to earn it by constantly being focused on it and not allowing yourself to think about anything else or feel anything and you're like a zombie. You're like, oh my God, no, my, my vibe is low. Now I gotta do something to go make myself feel good and happy. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get what I want. I gotta go, I gotta go do something so that I can feel my vibe higher and because, and I, I got to, I have to have fun. I have to go do stuff to, to feel good again. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get what I want. So then you go from persisting in affirmations and your desire 
you shift that to persisting and you having to feel good, that you have to feel good to get your stuff. It's like feeling good is amazing. Doing things that um, that feel good to you, like do it, but don't do it be out of thinking that it's an obligation that you have to do it. You just have to feel good. You just have to feel good and then you get everything you want. That's no different than you persisting in some affirmation all day long. You making yourself having to feel good. You don't have to feel good. Where in all of ancient scriptures and all of Neville Goddard's books, where does it say that if you don't feel good all the time, you don't get your stuff? Where does it say that it's mandatory that you have to? You are naturally the good in the feeling good. And I've said this many times before. You are the highest vibration there is when you say I am. There's nothing that can top it. And it is not required for you to feel a certain way or for you to be busy all day or for you to do things all day, nor is it required for you to constantly strain yourself and be focused on what you want. Okay, so what is it then, Rose, you guys may be asking, what is it? Your awareness that you are it means you have it. That's the proof, that's the proof. And then going back to what I was saying earlier is allowing, of the allowing, the unfolding, here's how a different perspective on it. You're allowing, instead of saying it's you're allowing it as if there's something outside of you or it like God outside of you is gonna do it or it something, someone is gonna bring you something, right? You're allowing it to unfold means you're allowing yourself to be that person. You're allowing yourself to be that person. How? By thinking from that person, by thinking as that person, by, by behaving whatever you want, whatever, it doesn't matter, there are no rules, but by being aware as that person that person that has what they want wouldn't entertain how long is this taking? This is so hard. What do I gotta say? What do I gotta do? What are the words? Tell me the perfect saying, the perfect affirmation. Do you see how clear that that kind of conversation is not someone that is already thinking from? Because if you already have your desire, your the way that you are experiencing and seeing life is going to be very different and when you have your desire you're not going to be happy all the time that's a big freaking lie you're not going to be happy all the time when you have your desire you're still going to get pissed off you're still going to cry you're still going to get um, um anxious or stressed about something or another right you you have human emotions you're never gonna you're never gonna be in a situation where you're one thousand percent completely perfectly unbothered and, and and happy all perfect all the time do you see you have human emotions and we're here to experience them so it's not even a it's not even a fair ask of yourself for you to say that you got to feel good all the time otherwise you're not going to get what you want because even when you have what you want in physical form you're still not going to always be feel good. You think you are, but you're not. So this isn't about feeling, okay? This is about being aware as that person that has that thing. So you're allowing yourself to be that person, meaning stop fighting yourself. Stop fighting yourself. Stop looking for answers. Stop looking for where it is because that's not allowing yourself to be that unfolding because everything's coming from you. It's not, you're, nothing's coming at you. No one's intervening. No one's bringing you something in, in, in your manifestation in like a little unicorn flying basket. It, it's all unfolding out of you. So when you hear allow it to unfold, you're allowing it to unfold from you as you, through you, for you but notice it's all coming from you so you what you're doing is you're being aware and thinking from that 
person being that person that has it all and and that it remember as that person that person's not going to be perfect and happy all the time they're going to have feelings they're going to have ups and downs shitty days good moments amazing days amazing weeks amazing years you're going to do you see it's okay so put the feeling thing throw that in a basket somewhere else you don't got to feel good all the time okay it's like a, a big ask it, that I can't keep up with that. There's no, there's no way. I don't, I'm not like freaking hunk, hunky dory all the time. Am I like in an amazing mood most of the time? Hell yeah, because I choose it. And when I notice something pisses me off, I'm just like, well, I could choose to continue to be pissed off and just, you know, go along with it just for the experience of it. Or I can just say, no, I'm done. I'm done. Nope, I'm done. I choose, I choose something else. I'm done. Do, do you see? But I know that it's me. I'm the cause of my feelings. I'm the cause of my thoughts. I'm the cause behind it all. So you are allowing yourself, right? You are giving you permission to be that person you desire to be. It's B, it's not nothing about the 3D. It doesn't matter what you do or you don't do in the 3D, okay? But it's not like, well, if I had a billion dollars, I would be buying Lamborghinis and blah, 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 and I don't have it, so I can't be it. Do you see, you're getting, it's not, that's doing, that's not being. Being is the person that has it, right? You're choosing, you're like, no, I'm this person. I'm this person. And you're allowing yourself to choose to be that person, no matter what the conditions look like, no matter what the 3D looks like, no matter what your thoughts and feelings are like, you're just like, that's interesting, because I already made a choice. I'm the only one in charge here. I'm the only one choosing. My choice isn't reliant and dependent on anything or anyone outside of me. I'm allowing myself to keep choosing what I want, despite how I feel, despite what it looks like, despite everything, despite what I think I've tried, despite how long I think I don't care. I'm allowing myself to be the person that has this thing. And being is simply choosing. I am it. I am it. I am it. I don't even have to know how that person feels or what they think or nothing. I'm just going to keep choosing. I am it. I'm being it. You guys see? So the unfolding is simply you allowing yourself to be that person instead of you thinking that the unfolding is some waiting period. The, that you're creating the waiting period. If if you think that you're waiting or there's some in between or that unfolding involves some special waiting room, you are actually causing that to be. Do you see? And now your awareness is on waiting. It's not on being. So allowing is allowing yourself to be. And I don't want to hear all these excuses about, well, I can't because I've never done it before. I, I don't know how to allow myself to be it. Yes, you do. If you talk like that or something like that, you're allowing yourself to be that person that is doubting and complaining and whining and saying that it's hard and that it takes so long. You're allowing yourself to be that you're being that. You're an expert on being. You're an expert on allowing. You're that right there. You're being and allowing when you talk like that. So you do know how to be. You do know how to allow. You're just choosing to be a different version of yourself and to be that. And you're like, no, nothing's getting in my freaking way. I made a choice. And nothing and no one can get in the way. I made a choice. There's only one cause here. That's me. I'm the only cause of my reality. There's nothing fighting me. There's no one opposing me. My thoughts and feelings are not fighting me. I don't have to wrestle anything. I don't have to wrestle anyone. No one is competing with me. I have no competition. I am the best. I'm freaking everything. I have the perfect self-concept. I have the perfect whatever. Do you see? You're like, no, this is all BS. There's nothing to fix here. I'm it. Period. You got it? Allowing is allowing yourself to 
be it. That's the unfolding is allowing yourself to be it. I hope this video is helpful. I, in fact, I know it was helpful and you guys are going to slay in the comment section and tell me all the cool shit you guys have manifested. I already know it. I already know it. So give me, give me, give me those little success stories. I can't wait to read them. Okay. So that I can sit here and giggle at the magic that keeps happening on the channel, on the rosy life. I love you guys all so, so much. I got you. I got you. I'm here. We're here. We're all leveling up together. You got me. I got you. We all got each other. All right. And uh, what was I going to say? I think that was it. I'll see you soon because you're all so freaking amazing. Bye.